Hey everyone, welcome back. Now if you recall, we just did a little bit of finishing touches on this, um, kind of forge house here. So we're going to do the, the last few touches on it, and then build the actual forge, and then do the interior. So let's get started on that. So first things first, we have to finish up what we started up here. Because we did this side, but we did not, did not do the other side. So, let's do that real fast. So we need to plug up all of the um, holes that will occur due to the uh, logs and whatnot being around. And so... I think that's two blocks high. Like that. There we go. And then we're going to need some light up here so mo monsters don't spawn. So we're just going to place some torches on the uh, pillars here. Because why not? Alright, we'll do... Then we'll just, just do... Let's see. Just to make sure for a fact that not a single monster will spawn in this area. And now we need to go and fill this in with some wood. How do I do that over there? Okay. It's probably been a good couple days since I've actually opened Minecraft. Um, school has been absolutely destroying my psyche, and it's just getting a little bit, like, harder to justify doing these little records at night when there's really no positive return. And I know that I'm, like, trying to build something, like, you know, for the future, but boy, is it difficult. Mad props to all the ASMR artists who have been sticking through with their stuff for this long. So, depending on how this week goes, I might have to go into a little bit of a hiatus for a little bit, just so that way I don't end up overworking myself and burn myself out, so. That's weird. It didn't look like there was glass from the bottom down there. All right. Well, I'm glad there is. So let's go ahead and get some stairs going. We don't need any on this end here, actually, because... We're not going to be using the attic. Maybe we will. I don't know. Probably not. Um, shoot. Is there even a... I guess I could just throw some chests up here. No. That's dumb. Because that's not really... That's not really working out with the woodcutter house. Alright. So we'll figure stuff out to go up here. But in the meantime... Let's see. I think the stairs would be good to have right over here. So we're going to slap these down, starting here, there, there, and ending there. So it'll just go to there, and then boom. Some pretty easy stairs that don't intrude with the uh, style of the house too much. Fairly easy, fairly straightforward. And now we're just going to go and fill in our little uh, side pocket right here. Perfect. Alright, and so now that is pretty much good to go. Whoops. Um, yeah. Oh, that's not good. I just realized it's nighttime. Alright, let's um let's go to sleep before a creeper decides to ruin our, our day. So Great. There's no way to get to me. All the paths are blocked. Come on.
You have got to be kidding me. Oh, this is a mistake. I could have sworn that I saw a witch for a second, but I might be wrong. I hope I am. That is the last thing I want to deal with right now. <sighs> I might end up, uh... Oh boy. So, tomorrow I have my philosophy class. Well, I guess actually by the time this is uploaded, today I'll have my philosophy class. And um, in the next video, it won't be the Subnautica one, it'll probably be Stardew Valley. I will let you know how that went. So, um, it is, because if you guys don't recall, actually I don't know if I even said this or not, but um, in the first class, he made us watch clips of the Big Bang Theory, it was kind of creepy, um, and I kind of thought he was being flirty towards one of the female freshmen, and it turns out he was, because this class, he's being super flirty. I'm 98% sure she he is currently using her Netflix without her permission because she signed on by his request so he could watch The Office and um, psychologically take it apart. Um, and I don't think he signed out. So, I hope I'm wrong and that it just turns out it's just a really weird misconception. I'm just being kind of a jerk. But it really does seem like he's um, not being too great of a guy. Uh, he was also making really weird, like, notions about stealing my laptop. Which is just weird, because, I mean... Like, I, I mean, my laptop was not, not cheap. I mean, I, I really... I mean, I, I probably put about four to five paychecks into this thing. Actually, no, more like, more like three to four paychecks, but just so that way I'd have a laptop that would last me for a while, it would eat everything that I would need done for school, and be a nice gaming laptop that could replace my really terrible PC, so, which is actually what I'm using right now, so it's, you know, it's one of the, it's a um, Republic of Gamer one, it has this really nice, like, metal rose gold finish on it, and it's like this, like, kind of carbon black look, love the thing, it's a beautiful laptop. Um, so, you know, when someone jokes about stealing it, it, it really just kind of, it's just odd. Like, I mean, I know that he's trying to like, you know, we do like a philosophical standpoint, but it's always like when he's trying to make like a moral, like, you know, implication of like something that's wrong, it's always stealing my laptop. It's never like... Oh, robbing a bank. Oh, doing this, this, and that. It's, for an example, if I were to steal your laptop an hour later. So, stealing your laptop would be, and then t two weeks later, stealing your laptop is this, this. It's like, why? Why, why, why do you have to keep bringing this up, man? It's weird. I don't like it. It just, I mean, I don't think he's actually going to try to steal it or anything. It just makes me really uncomfortable. Like, it's weird. So I'm probably overthinking it and, you know, he's just trying to make a, an example that'll hit close to home. But, I don't know. And I think that, let's see. Um, shoot, yeah. There's only like two classes that I'm not going to be able to BS my way through, which sucks because I'm really good at doing that. Although philosophy is one of them. I am I am getting full credit for BSing my way through it, and the professor is even complimenting me on my knowledge of philosophy. So, literally, the only reading I've done on philosophy is Sun Tzu's The Art of War, and that's not even Western philosophy; that's Eastern philosophy. So, oh yeah, I need to make an anvil. I was trying to remember what the hell, what the heck I was doing.
Where's the anvil at? No matter, I know how to craft it. Oh, okay, so you bring it up afterwards? Cool. Whatever. I, I pretty much remember how to craft this thing, so it doesn't matter. Or maybe not. There we go. That's not good. That is an oversight on my part. Let's see, uh, to fix that, we'll just pop that. Boom. Um, let's see, there's a material in question that I'm going to need here for the fork. I should have some, oh, there we go, perfect, that's exactly what I need, some nether rack. And then we just need some of this, some of that. So I gotta be careful with placing this, I don't wanna burn stuff down. So, we're gonna pop it in right here. Um, actually, yeah, right here. Let's actually move the anvil over and do it right here. So, we're just gonna go and do that there, and then, like so, with a surrounding base. Um, I need to find my old flint and steel for this, aren't I? I don't like the way this is touching it, though. Maybe I'll do stairs around it instead. That'll look a lot nicer. There's um oh I have it right there in my inventory. There's a, a a kid that went to my high school that I really wish that I would have put him in his place and I had the chance. And let me explain this story before you go and start like wondering what's going on. So this kid claimed he had an IQ of 160 first off. Let me just put that down. So with me just saying that right there, you should have a little bit of an idea of why I like, came off so aggressive there. Um, he had this, he had like a Dodge Neon, and with me having my Beamer, you know, it was a little interesting, just because he kept trying to raise me, so. Oh, that's exactly what I was afraid of happening. Oh, that's not good. Okay. So it turns out it is just a bit too close. So we're going to have to lower it down one block. Which might actually look aesthetically better. So, boop, boop. Anyways, with, you know, so for high school we had to do internships. And that's actually how I have my current position. It is It started as an internship. And... Later, I got hired on for it being a real job. So that's that's kind of how I'm already in my career path so early on. Anyways, I had two options. I had a um, the current company I was at, and then there was one where the guy was the husband of my um, history slash government teacher. Uh, she, um, really liked me as a student and, like, really wanted me to work there. Um, but I interviewed at the other place first, and I actually got hired on, or I got the, um, um, I got the offer from the company I'm working at now to start, um, um, pretty high above minimum wage at the time. And I was like, I have to do this just so that way I can, uh, quit working in fast food. Which, for those of you who know, I, I used to do fast food and I have quite a bit of horror stories from it. Anyways, um, so I take it without even, like, thinking or considering it. The day that I take it and come back to school, um, 
my my government teacher um when i was like walking out she's like so um i heard that you already got your internship i have never felt more guilty in my entire life after she said that so later now that um when i went back there to interview them for um uh, english 102 assignment uh, she told me if I would have just shown up, I would have gotten the position. Because apparently when I was showing off my portfolio during the um, the tech fair where we were kind of like showing off to the possible, you know, employ our, our possible future employers, I managed to impress them enough that they wanted me to work there immediately. And if I showed up, I would have gotten it. But because I didn't show up, they ended up giving it to this kid. He brags continuously about how amazing he is at his, you know, thing, how awesome he is, how much better he is than everyone else, and um, the fact that he got hired on is just a statement towards how great he is and how much better, you know, this, this, and that. So, part of me is really debating of telling him, I was like, hey, you should probably stop talking, because if I would have walked in there, I would have gotten the, you know, the position, but the other part of me just wants to let him enjoy that. So, I mean... I don't know why I feel like I need to just go and crush people's. And maybe it's just because I'm like deep down, like, you know, suffering on the inside. I don't know. Real talk. <laughs> but. <sighs> I don't know. I always found that a little funny just because of how. Just how entitled he is to everything. I mean, it's not even like, Ugh, I don't know. Hmm. It doesn't matter. I enjoy my current position right now. I, am, I actually have a lot of fun doing what I do right now. So, uh. I just kind of wish I made a different decision. Um, so I could have, I don't know, maybe, no, that's not right. Maybe I am kind of like, you know, upset that I didn't take this, uh, that position or whatever. But honestly, it, it really doesn't matter because where I'm currently at right now, I got some pretty cool things going for me. So, And besides, even if I, like, don't end up actually, um, nah, whatever, you know what, I need to stop talking about this stuff, I'm just rambling right now. It's probably because I'm tired, and I'm really considering a lot of things in my life right now, and what direction I should be going with my life, which is a really weird thought to have at any time when you're still a freshman in college and you're not really sure what you're doing is right. I don't know. Um, I just kind of have like a weird little personal problem, I guess, with that. So, speaking of personal problems, I don't know if I've ever told this story before, but there was one time where I was in, you know, this was high school, um, freshman year, and we were in the computer lab area, and... Um, the reason why I'm bringing this up right now is because of the personal problem thing. It'll make a sense. I mean, it'll make a lot of sense in a couple seconds, but basically uh, we were in the computer lab and the, the desk that I was stationed at had no space whatsoever to do anything. You could only use the computer. So there was a lot of space behind it. So I was like, oh, I can just move the computer back a little bit and have enough space to do my math homework. So I'm going to start moving it back. And I get this scowl from the instructor, and she goes, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm just moving this stuff so I can do some homework. She's like, sounds like a personal problem. Stop doing that. So I sit down and I play games on the computer. When she tells me, when she, you know, I did that specifically to get her attention. 
And, uh, you know, she looks at me, she's like, what? I was like, why are you playing games? Don't you have homework? I'm like, yeah, but I can't do it. She's like, why not? Because I have no room to do it. She's like, do something about it. I'm like, yeah, I, I tried, but it was a personal problem. And she gave me this really, like, I realize I messed up, but I'm going to blame you for it because you have an attitude right now kind of thing. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, um, she actually ended up moving me to a different location. So um, it was a win-win for me. And I guess to her, she got to exercise her authority. So, hey. Cool. This actually isn't too bad. Let's start working on the interior. Um, this feels like it should be more of a house than like what it actually is now. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to place just some like two more chests in there. Um, create some pseudo furniture. And then we should be good to go. Alright, let's have this stone. No, we can't use stone brick now. We'll just use... Hmm. Would cobblestone look good as like an extension of the house? Like that? No, it does not really work at all. Might need to use stone brick. So what I'll probably do is actually have stone brick under the window sill right here. And then, oh, I need to put a furnace out there. So, this episode is definitely not going to go on for too long because I am extremely tired and I still have to record the Subnautica video. So, and I also have to edit them tonight and get them uploaded because I have been unfathomably busy over the weekend with other things that don't relate to this channel. So, Boy, this whole college thing is totally overrated. <sighs> like, it, it's not even, like... They, they treat me like I'm an oversized child. And it, it's annoying. Because... Uh, even if you know something, they like to exercise their knowledge. And just continually press it on you. No matter what. And it, it's just aggravating because no matter how many times you say, yeah, I'm, I'm aware, I've done this before, um, well, I'm actually looking for this and not this, they feel like they need to tell you some weird offshoot store. I'm actually like specifically um, going towards my... Uh, gross. Uh, I had like an itch and just like... Uh, And, uh, so I'm actually, like, specifically talking about professor I had last semester. What am I doing? Where, um, he, he would, uh, I don't think he's used to actually having students that can, like, you know, hold the conversation and speak professionally. Because he had to give, like, a full lecture on the first day about why you shouldn't address an email starting with yo. So, okay, I remember what I was doing. I'm like way off topic here. And today was the Super Bowl. I didn't really pay attention to it this year. Um, I only I was only there for one thing, and that was the SpongeBob homage, which was nice, but it was also kind of a a disappointment because it wasn't sweet victory. So, you know. Whatever though. At least they did something about it though. That was nice. I'm glad they did something. And I'm pretty grateful that they actually did do something. Because they could have just ignored it, but no. They they decided to basically isolate half of the football population and give homage to a child's cartoon that had a brief Super Bowl reference in it X amount of time. <laughs> and, you know, 
they did a good, they did a good job. And I'm glad they did it. Their execution could have been a little better, but they still did it and they didn't have to do it. And people don't quite realize that, that they totally did not have to do any of that. But they still did. Alright, that's, I guess that's okay. I mean, I'm not really too sure what are good decorations to have. Maybe like, I we should just do a table and call it good. Or we just do another table and call it good. But, uh, am I really that low on cobblestone? Hmm. Next episode, we're gonna have to get some more, apparently. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, you know what, guys? I cannot keep myself focused, so I'm going to call this episode where it is now. Uh, thank you for watching and listening to my shenanigans and whatever. Um, just as sort of a heads up, if I ever just stop uploading, I will end up returning eventually. It's just... Um, I'm just under a lot of pressure right now, and, um, this is, while this is fun to do and whatever, this is not a priority when it comes to, you know, work and school. I gotta, I gotta prioritize things, so, well, hopefully it doesn't come to that and I can keep doing these uploads, but anyways, I gotta get rid of that real fast, actually. Anyways, uh, thank you all for well, watching this, you know, presentation of abominable uh, ASMR here. So, well, hey, it's still, it's still stuff. So, anyways, thank you all for watching and have a fantastic.